Hello everybody, another day, another character guide. Today, it's the indigestible, the humanoid spider himself, Weber. It's time to discover just why he will never quite be alone. Let's get to it. Indeed, a humanoid spider he is. You see, Weber here is not one soul, but rather two. Weber will refer to himself as a single being as well as a duo of individuals upon examination of himself, which lends to the lore of a two-mind, one-body relationship that has grown ever since a child. The child within Weber was killed by a spider long ago. With this background, it is speculated that Weber was the first to enter the constant even before Wilson. It would explain how we were able to revive Weber with any of the other characters in-game. How did he get there then? Well, examining Maxwell alludes to Max tricking Webb just like Wilson. Weber will say, that jerk tricked me. Or, that's the guy who said he could help me. Suggesting that he was fooled by Maxwell's promises. So, Weber's a child. And because of that, his sanity sits at a mere 100 points, while both his health and hunger have a max of 175 each. But that's not all. Examine an alchemy machine, and Weber will reference his father, who may have been a scientist himself. And examine a tam shanter and Weber will say that it reminds him of his grandfather. Perhaps suggesting that Weber and his family are that of a Scottish descent. Intriguing. Oh, and his favorite color is red, by the way. So, uh, I guess make note of that. Huh? What's this? Something feels so right, yet still itches. What could... Wabam! The beard is back, baby. Taking but three days to start growing, it comes in a lot faster than Wilson's, but works very similar. At three days, you'll have a short beard. At six days, a long beard. And at nine days, a silky smooth beard. Glorious. Shave the short one for one silk, losing 11.25 insulation. At long length, for 3 silk, losing 33.75 insulation, and wait for the silky smoothness for 6 silk and 101.5 insulation, respectfully. Weber here is part spider, so what does that mean? Well, it allows the player to have zero loss to mobility while on spider's webbings. And means the player can live and run amongst their spooder brethren without a care in the world. Plus, similar to befriending pigs, Weber can befriend spiders and amass an army quickly. Give meat to one, and up to four additional spiders in close proximity will also become friends. Follow the player for two and a half days and fight what the player fights. Get to recruiting. They ain't the toughest thing in the world, but dealing 20 damage each isn't something to bat an eye at, especially when you get a whole bunch of them together. Speaking about togetherness, if you have the luxury of having the Queen's Gathering set piece spawn, you have found your heaven on Earth. I'd make base real close, or directly in it, if I was you. And oh boy, you can start a war with your new friends and family, and watch it get out of hand quickly. But, you're safe for the most part, so gather up all the loot before it's eaten. Make note. Weber can eat monster meat, cooked or uncooked, with no adverse effects. This includes the lovely mistake, monster lasagna. Eat up, boys. 
Weber also has a unique crafting recipe under the structures tab. He can create his very own spider nests. Now, I believe it costs way too much to make these dang things, but hey, it's still special. But more special is his ability to upgrade spider nests using silk. Each tier of the nest only uses five silk each. So getting their tier three nests quickly should be a cinch. Incredibly helpful this is. Side note, queens are also non-hostile. Ah, it feels good to be king. Just a fun little thing. Get cave spiders to follow you, and you practically have an unstoppable force of armored and range-like spiders at your command. Ah yes, the sanity question. As always, you got your jerkies, your cooked green caps, your cactus flesh, or your hats. In this case, a top hat as silk comes easy as Weber. Plus, you'll look dapper. But Beard, if spiders are not hostile to us, how do we get them out during the day? I got you covered. Or should I say, Chesty does. Chester will hook us up in a way he has never done before. By being bait. Careful though, even befriended spiders will kill Chester. And even a hutch down under. I'm so sorry, Hutch. You deserved better. Screw you, Chester. When the white stuff begins to fall, that insulation crap I breezed by earlier comes into play. With a full Silky smooth beard and a thermal stone, you can easily make it through the harsh wintry season. But nothing's stopping you from having a winter hat, or better yet, a beefalo hat to top it all. But, sadly, similar to Wilson's beard, Weber's will overheat you quicker, so it's advised you shave it come summertime. In the end, Weber offers a unique adventure that many should have the pleasure of experiencing in the world of DST. With a special place within the lore, a background like none other before him, and a marvelous silky smooth beard, Weber certainly deserves a place within the confines of the whimsical world of the constant. Thanks for watching folks, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.